That's not my best technique for remembering names. Actually, my, my best technique was inspired by these neighbors uh, of ours. They were new neighbors. It was one of those deals they just repeatedly told us their names. And you ever have uh, somebody's name you just can't recollect? You have a block. And I couldn't ask them again after they told me their names so many times. That would have been too embarrassing. So I started going through their mail. And uh, I, uh, I have more confidence now if I see them out in the yard working. Hey, current resident. Uh, oh, boy. Your, your lawn is plush, occupant. What are you putting on the lawn? Where's that little subscriber of yours? Oh, he's getting so big, let me hold him. You don't need somebody so annoying you don't even try to learn their name. You know what I'm talking about that? Because you already know you're not going to mingle with them, you know, for whatever reason. You don't need to clutter your brain with another name. For me, it's another neighbor. It's actually this guy. Uh, all he cares about is his lawn, for starters. He's that guy. Uh, so, and he's not very nice, too, by the way. Um, well, you know what? I, I, I just call him the fussy lawn guy. I'm not going to learn his name, so I just call him the fussy lawn guy. I'm taking my dog for a walk by his house not too long ago. He blocked the sidewalk in front of the house so we couldn't get by. To, he said what he wanted to say. This is what he goes, yeah, the other day you're taking that beast. He called my dog a beast. I don't like that. For a walk, he went number two right here on my beautiful lawn, which I said, I bet not. I didn't have a comeback, so I said, I bet you're a liar. And, um, <laughs> And I wanted, to, I wanted to defend my dog because I thought he was picking on him randomly, you know. Uh, but I couldn't. This guy was so obsessed with his yard, he'd actually saved it. He outlined it, he outlined it with chalk like it was a dead body or something. <laughs> Pulls me over. He goes, see that? I said, that? I did that. Um, uh, I only have a short list of animals I don't particularly care for. It's a very short list. It's uh, uh, rats and mice and... Uh, uh, oh, groundhogs. I don't like groundhogs because that, that, that stupid, stupid holiday that makes no sense. <laughs> right? Those of us that live uh, where the winters are cold, by the end of January, aren't you hoping for some miracle thing that'll turn the weather around? And I've always, I have a positive attitude. Then I realize I don't even know what I want the groundhog to do. Do I want the groundhog to see the shadow, not see the shadow? The only groundhogs day that made any sense, you probably remember, is like a decade ago. Groundhog's Day that year fell on Super Bowl Sunday for you football fans. Uh, halftime Entertainment, uh, uh, Janet Jackson's um, uh, 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 flopped out. I saw it, Shadow, and uh, we got ten more years of Justin Timberlake from that mess. So, uh, 